Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a fair few weeks. I put on Instagram yesterday or the day before saying that it's been 10 weeks, almost 10 weeks since my last video. And would anybody like one before Christmas? And most people said yes. So I've come out this morning. It's the first frost of the season, the first proper frost after the ice, the car and everything. But it's lovely to be out. I've been getting a little bit of cabin fever, I suppose staying at home and it's just nice to be outside that sort of fresh morning air is beautiful and i've come back to a place that i've been loads of times before if you've followed the channel for any length of time you've probably seen me taking pictures here but as i said on instagram i said whether asked whether people wanted the video or not and then i also asked whether it should be architecture because i've got an architecture idea in my local park or woodland because i did want to come back here at some point and most people pick woodland so i've come back here i've got a few ideas in mind i'm just going to enjoy the walk more than anything i say it so many times the photography is secondary i just wanted to get out but there are a few places on this little walk that could provide some really nice photographic opportunities So I've come to the first location, I suppose, or well, the first tree. I've, se I've seen this tree before and there's something about it, but I've not got a picture that I'm happy with. And I don't think this morning will be the case of getting that either. It's this one over here. It's a beautiful spindly tree that, it's a bit weird that it's, it's by itself. If it was in a bit more of an enclosed wooded space, there are other trees like it, they're just, spaced out a little bit and it's quite difficult because if you look down here it's sort of i'm up on this slight embankment and it's a bit of an awkward place to get the shot from as i say i don't think i've got the shot but i'll, I'll run you through what i've got i could do with some mist i think the tree looks better from the other side as well but there's nothing there's no separation so i thought by using the silver birch trees in the background i might be able to get a bit of separation and use this 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 log and this rock in the foreground to sort of lead you in it looks okay as i say it could it needs that little bit of something extra as well but i'll put it up on the screen i just, might just have a little play and see if there's any other angles of it that i can get but this is definitely one to return to possibly in better conditions if i was here maybe a little bit earlier this morning it might have been better because there was some mist on the way over and as i say that frost it, it must have been really cold overnight if there were any if there was any ice or frost on the tree it might have made it look that little bit more ethereal that little bit more magical a bit give it a bit give it a bit more wonder so so yeah i, I don't know we'll, we'll see i'll have a play as i say I'll put the best shot up on the screen now for you. So I've come up to this war memorial now, which I've been to before, and it's for, in 1943, a Wellington bomber crashed on the moors, and this is here to remember the five, six people who died. So, yeah, stop and have a little thought for those who have been lost, but I've come up here for this view. Hopefully you can see it in the bright sunshine. Ideally, I had this thought as I was driving over because the sun was just about to pop up over Riddington Pike, which is over there. You might not be able to see it. It's over there somewhere. But with the long lens on at 200 mil, well, the idea was to get the sun just poking up behind it, like maybe creating a bit of a starburst, but that hasn't happened from here. And I don't even think going that way, I'll be able to line it up because it's probably too high in the sky now 
and I'd start yeah I just don't think it would work there's a forest and tree line and stuff but what I've done I've gone for high impact black and white I've zoomed right in on Rivington Pike and actually when I zoom in again to check the focus I can see people standing next to it which is really nice to see we're a couple of miles apart but I can still see them so I'm going to crop right in on that and really push up the whites and bring up the blacks and make it a really contrasty image and then I've done the same for the tower over there again you might not be able to see it it's the trans transmission tower on Winter Hill which I've climbed before it's over there um, I'm thinking two images unfortunately the sun's right in the middle if it was either side it might have worked with a starburst for one of them but it hasn't it hasn't worked like that so I'm making the best of the situation I've got and hopefully those two images or at least one I think the Rivings and Pike one is a little bit special because you can see the people in it I'm not as bothered about the transmission tower I've just taken that because I'm here but I'll put any of them up that are any good for you now So I've come a little bit further upstream and into the woodland on my walk and I really want to get some shots which are quite creepy. So I'm using my long lens for a number of reasons really. It's got a better depth of field so I can add some separation throughout the image and really focus on the, the tree I suppose within the woodland that I want the viewer to look at. I'm really pulling my settings down as well I'm making it quite dark. I might brighten it up in Photoshop. I'm going through a bit of a dark editing period at the moment. I don't know why. But there's some nice light, morning light coming through the trees and just, I found this beautiful tree. This one over here with the two bits coming off it. Obviously I'm quite far away because even though I'm only shooting at 90 mil, I need to get a couple of other trees out of the shot and I want to create that separation through the image, as I said. But the shot looks quite nice. It's hard to find a subject that I'm happy with and that has something about it within the chaos of the woodland because wherever you go there's trees and it's hard to find something which stands out and looks a little bit different and looks maybe a little bit eerie to create some atmosphere and give the, the shot some personality I suppose. But I'm quite happy with this one. I went a bit further down towards the river but it does the embankment does disappear quite quickly. I've got a couple of more intimate shots at more 180, 200 mil, but this one's just under 100 and I think this one's probably the best. So just after that shot I returned to the track and I, when I was walking along the track I thought there was a shot there somewhere and as soon as I walked back onto it there it was so I got the tripod out again and I captured that shot and it looks quite nice. I got used the long lens at about 80mm to zoom in and just focus slightly on a branch that was overhanging and then the depth of field that disappears into the back of the shot sort of lets you imagine where it's going to go through. So after those shots I returned to the track and I've just captured a shot. When I was walking along the track I thought there's a shot here somewhere. Just It just feels like there's a shot and, and there was. As soon as I got back on the track there it was. So I'll pop that one up in a minute but it was just really nice. I shot at about 80 mil and had quite a narrow depth of field again to focus on a tree that was overhanging the track and then as the track sort of disappears into a blur you can sort of imagine where it's going gives the user a bit of a story they can figure it out for themselves but i'm gonna head up you might have seen these trees in the background i've shot here before it's some intentional deforestation because there was a fire here but the trees seem to be coming back to life so I'll pop up that track shot now 
and then we'll head up around this corner and see how these trees are looking. So I've just stopped for a breather and just have a look at these trees really that have burnt down in a moor fire a good few years ago, six or seven years ago I think. And I came here maybe two years ago and not a lot has changed. It's amazing how crippling a fire can be to a patch of a patch of nature. These trees are slowly maybe getting somewhere but they're not in good shape at all. But that kind of does make for a a unique kind of woodland shot. I haven't got a picture yet that I'm happy with. I'm going to skirt around the outside of the barbed wired area because you're not allowed in there. I don't even know if I'd want to go in really because I think you can probably get the shot from the outside but I have sent the drone over so I'll put some clips of that up just so you can get a feeling for it really so you can get a a sense of what it is and yeah see it from a different perspective I suppose. So as I say, I'm going to have a little wander around the edge and see if anything jumps out. I'm looking for something which is out of the chaos. I've said, I've said about chaos already, but this is like, it's all chaos. They're all standing regimented. They're in lines because that's how they were planted, but they're all ripped to ruins and burned and yeah. There must be some bits of colour within that, hopefully. But even if not, what a wonderful place to have a sit down. Moorland just everywhere and not another person nearby. Just peace and quiet. Bless. Okay, so I'm slowly working my way around this. After I sent the drone up in the air and had a look, I think the best shot is actually from the air itself. So I managed to grab one or two of them from up high. But as I said, I would. I've got to anyway, because I've got this way, I've got to get back to the car. I'm working my way around the edge of the forest and I don't know maybe no there's nothing that's really catching my eye apart from that bit there but I'm not convinced by it I might stop here and have a look in a second but I did get one shot about 10 meters from where I did the last piece to camera um, there's some fir trees in there like sort of Christmas trees and it just looked a bit like we wish you an apocalyptic Christmas with all these dead straight apocalypse type trees with a Christmas tree in the middle. It could have just done with something to differentiate it because there was a lot of green going on and if it had a few baubles on it that would have been great. A bit of tinsel isn't it? A star on top but I'll see what it looks like when I get home. But I'm not gonna wait here too long. I'm just gonna sort of, I don't think that's anything there really. As I say, the shot from above I think is the best because you get a much grander perspective of what's going on rather than me trying to pick out details in this forest of branches and twigs which is just all over blending one another. Um, plus there's my last stop before the car, there's two trees that I want to get to as well. So I'll keep an eye out as I'm walking along here and I'll pop that drone shot, that drone photo, which is only JPEG because this park only does JPEG, but I might try and boost a bit of contrast and play around with it, even though it's a JPEG image. But if it's any good, and if I get anything else from here, which I don't think I will, I'll pop them up now. So 
So I've just got to the edge of the apocalyptic forest and I'm going to work my way back down to the car past those two trees that I mentioned earlier but there's a little landmark here it's called Pikestones it's just here but beyond that I don't know if you'll see it on the GoPro it's quite a shot I've come away from the Pikestones and I'm shooting at 110 mil to try and compress the image a little bit I can't I could get f go back over the fence but then I think I'd, I'd risk getting the fence in the shot and I don't want the fence in shot. So I've come back as far as I can. I've got the pike stones in the foreground. And then beyond that, I've got towns and cities. Let me figure out what town it is. I'm shooting, that's Chorley, I think. So down from there, yeah, that is Chorley. That's the motorway. So I'm shooting south west-ish and I think with my eye anyway I think I can see the Snowdonia mountains from here I'm not sure whether I'll pick it up on the camera so I'm underexposing by quite a bit to try and get that ridge line in the shot and then I can try and pull back some of the other details within the shot my eyes are getting terrible as I get older. So I end up checking on both the through the viewfinder and on the screen. Because I'm not that confident in my eyesight right now. But I think that's alright. So 100, ISO 100, hundredth of a second, F16. I've gone for a higher f-stop to try and get it sharp throughout the image and I'm hopeful that that's quite a cool shot because you've got the pike stones here but then you've got the, mo the motorway which is a couple of miles away and then you've got towns that's probably Wigan maybe a bit further down the motorway might not be I'm not sure and there's industrial bits with, tow with towers and steam and smoke coming off it there's some fog covering part of it and then you go further again there's trees and then there's what you think is the sort of this the um the horizon line but then beyond that you've got the snowdonian mountain range i think it's that anyway so this could be quite an interesting shot i might make sure i've got a shot from here with the pike stones and then head down towards where i want to be and see because there's some reservoirs down there and I think if I could get a reservoir in the foreground, that might make it a bit more of an interesting shot. So let's see what we can get. When I've looked at the positioning, I realised that the reservoirs aren't anywhere near where I could get that shot again. So I'll have to wait until I get home. You'll have already seen it, the shot. Hopefully it'll be all right. What I'm going to do now is, I'm, I'm pretty much nearly back at the car to be fair. There's just these two trees which I kind of stumbled across one time when I've been here before. They're through a field and the field's actually next to where you can park. But it makes a nice end to the to the walk so i'm not sure i'm feeling even though we're in december the, the sky is very blue and there's a bit of cloud activity so these trees might lend themselves to something like a long exposure because there's not that much wind so it might work out quite nicely 
but let's find a way out this field and go and find them. So I found those trees, they're just over there behind me. They're not actually what I wanted, they're not how I remember them. I must have come at a different time of year, I probably did, and I think they'd probably look better with some leaves on, and maybe some mist, or maybe some mist, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm not going to walk back through that field, I'm going to go this way, back through the through the pathway so I don't disturb any sheep but there will be some more vlogs coming up they'll be less frequent than perhaps I have done them over the past three years because there's other stuff going on in life so as and when stick around tune in when possible and yeah thanks ever so much for watching as always stick around for any more photos at the end and I'll see you on the next one